proper way to use acetic acid with a Vrox vaporizer. You're vaporizing this powder here. And you want to make sure that you don't have any chunks. You don't want to put any chunks on your vaporizer. Here's a chunk right here. You don't want that on your vaporizer. I'm using Vrox vaporizers, and I, I kind of thought it was amusing. They give you a uh, couple clear scoops, or one scoop or two scoops with the Vrox vaporizer, but it's clear. But once it gets inside there and you drop it, you know, it gets worked into the powder, you can't see it. So if it would have been orange, it would have been nice. Orange, green, blue, yellow, or whatever, you know, instead of clear. It just goes to show you how stupid people are. And... I'm using a kitchen timer and you have to uh, modify the time. You want to make sure you don't have any acetic acid left over in, uh, in the cup. And what I'm doing, that's not too bad. If you had a lot of this left over in your cup, you would know that you didn't do a very good job vaporizing that acetic acid. So, it's a chunk, but it's not a real big one. And to save time, what I do is I just make sure it's all powdery. When I put it in, I don't measure anything. I just go like that, you know. So if you're not supposed to use your fingers, oh well. My fingers are pretty tough. Um, it's not the most dangerous thing I do in my life. I, I work with electricity. And then you got it in there, this entrance reducer holds it in place. This is the bottom board, this is the bottom board screen. And I've gone over on time, but it's not a big deal because I'm videoing and I switch it over and then I start to time again. In three and a half minutes, this one will come out and it goes into the next one. So I've always got one hot and it's Almost the end of October here in Michigan, and it's always windy, and it usually rains a lot, and I have some of these under a roof, and some of them exposed. So it's not raining this morning, so I figured I'd go ahead and do these, and it is windy. And because when I made these bottom boards and these bottom screens, I made these not knowing that I was ever going to do vaporizing. So I end up with little gaps here, so what I do is I, uh, I poke rags in there. With my hive tool, see, like that, to make sure that the wind doesn't go through them. And I also, uh, I plug up, well, right there's, sometimes you might got to make sure your holes are plugged up. Here's, a, I plugged up this entrance reducer here, see, like that. And then I'm going to put a rag, I'm going to put a rag, this right here is a screened hole on my shim because these may go inside pretty soon. So I'm gonna tuck a rag in there before I use the vaporizer on that. So it's pretty simple. You just gotta use your head, you got common sense. If you end up with chunks left over, you didn't do a good job vaporizing, see? And you also wanna, you wanna wash and see, is it vaporizing? See, I don't use a battery, I use a battery charger. And I occasionally come to make sure that is still humming because I'm on a ground fault circuit out here and if that ground fault were to trip and I didn't realize it, it would screw up my time. So okay, it's it's vaporizing and it's not coming out real bad so it's doing a good job. See right there, it's coming out there but and then you can listen to the bees if it's quiet and if the bees are buzzing you know they're getting some of that vaporizing. It's not doing too bad a job. You don't want a whole bunch of it coming out. And you know, I keep track of your timer. Okay, pretty simple. And I'm having really good luck using this, whereas last year I used Formic Pro Formic Acid. And I've noticed the bottom of my uh, colonies last year, when I scraped out the bottom screen, there were a lot of dead bees. Um, Old healthy bees will leave the hive before they die. They won't die in the hive. Sick bees that have virosis will die in the hive. So I, I did that Formic Pro Formic Acid treatment last September. In October, my bees were dying. At the end of October, I realized I had an issue. 
I assumed the formic pro formic acid worked, but it didn't. So I quickly bought some acetic acid and the Vrox vaporizer, and I did that early November, and it killed all the varroa mites. But the damage had already been done. It, it made my colony smaller because a lot of them died in the month of October. And I'm not noticing a bunch of dead bees in my hives. So I will update you in a few weeks here, early November, to see if I had the same situation. It's a little early now to be assuming it's better than last year, but I will let you know. And then also, this is how I get them ready for winter. I put insulation board in between. And chickens and ducks, they seem to like eating, so I have to stick up this fence, put this fence up to keep them away. And I got some more insulation I got to get. Okay? Thank you.